Hey there, welcome back to Rims English. Today, our topic is paragraph writing tricks. In my previous video, I already showed the pre writing tricks of paragraph where you got listing and spidergram. I hope you have watched that video. In this video, I'll focus on parts of a paragraph, baga pattern, use of linkers, and sample paragraph. So let's start. In the very beginning, let's know what are the parts of a paragraph. In the paragraph, you will get introduction, which starts with a thesis statement or a topic sentence, which will be related to the given topic of the paragraph. Then the body parts comes, where the main description will be given. And at last, the conclusion. It is the ending part and it is linked with the introduction. Now, let me show you the burger pattern. This is very interesting. You all know burger. We frequently eat this, right? So see the picture. What we find in the burger? We find three layers. At first, the top one. Then comes the different ingredients or items which are given in the middle portion of the burger. And at last, there is the bottom one. The paragraph's writing is almost the same thing. Now let me show. In the beginning, we are getting the Top bun, as I said, top bun means your topic sentence or thesis statement of the paragraph. Then, see in the middle, these items are considered as the feelings or the body part of the paragraph where you will write different points one by one. And at last, the bottom bun. This is the concluding sentence where you will bring everything together and your concluding sentence will be related to the topic sentence, which you wrote in the very first sentence of your paragraph. So just consider the three parts of the paragraph to the three parts of the burger. Then it will be very easy for you to remember. Now, let me show how to use the linkers. Linkers are very, very important for creative writing. Linkers are also called discourse markers. Linkers help you connect different ideas together or different sentences together. There are lots of linkers found in English. I'll show you a few. At first, sequence. When you want to write some items in a sequential way or some events in a sequential way, there you have to use firstly, secondly, thirdly, next, then, eventually, and there are many, many more words. Then, if you want to show cause and effect, in that case, you can write so, because, does, therefore, etc. If you want to show addition, you can use and also in addition, additionally, etc. If you want to show some examples, in that case, you can write such as, for example, in this case, etc. I hope you are clear with the linkers. Now, let me show you the spidergram, which I already showed in my previous video. So, they are the topic given a firefighter. And there are a few topics, a few points, based on which you will write your paragraph. So, now I will show you a sample paragraph, which will be written based on these points. So, the points are, who is a firefighter? What does he do? When does he work? How is a firefighter? How does he help the society? Now, let me show you the example of a paragraph. A firefighter is a social worker who saves the lives of others. He works in a fire department and puts out fires. There is no fixed time for his work. Whenever there is a fire, he goes there to put it out. A firefighter is a hardworking person. He is kind, helpful, and brave. He helps the society by rendering his never-ending service. I have given different parts of the paragraph in different colors for your better understanding. Now let me show where I am using the baga pattern. I mean the top bun or the thesis statement, then the fillings or the middle parts of the paragraph, and the bottom bun or the conclusion of the paragraph. So at first, the top one or the topic sentence. A firefighter is a social worker who saves the lives of others. This is our 
topic sentence which is related to our given topic, a firefighter. This is introduction also. We are given introduction of the firefighter. After that, starting from he works to brave. This is the feelings or the body parts of our paragraph where we have covered different points together. And at last, there is the bottom one or the conclusion part, which is given, he helps the society by rendering his never-ending service. I hope you have got clear information about the paragraph writing. I have shown you the parts separately for your better understanding. If you face any more problem, you can watch the video from the beginning or for further information, you can knock me in the comment section also. So everyone, keep practicing paragraph writing and don't forget that paragraph will be written in one single paragraph. Don't write in several paragraphs. But you have to follow the three parts of the paragraph. So keep practicing and study well. See you in the next video. Bye everyone. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, share the video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon.